Hey there, Adrian from Groundhog, Mailhawk, and Hollerbox with you today to give you a quick tutorial on gated content pop-ups. I'm going to show you four examples of different gated content pop-ups and how to set them up in Hollerbox. So stick around and we'll get right into it. Before we get into actually creating those different four examples of those gated content pop-ups, I'm going to just quickly explain what a gated content pop-up is and why you might want to use it. So gated content pop-ups are typically used by publication companies, newspapers, that want to have a user do some sort of action like subscribe or pay for a premium plan or log in before they're able to read an article on their website. That's its most typical implementation. And so what I'm going to be doing is showing you some examples of how you can create, not exactly like this, but sort of a similar concept of a pop-up that prevents a user from actually reading specific content that then prompts them to take some sort of action such as log in or fill out a form or subscribe or basically whatever it is that you want them to do before they can read that content. So we're going to show you four gated content pop-ups today and we're going to start off with just our basic content gate. So let's go ahead and open that in Hollerbox. It's going to open up our pop-up editor uh, and we've just got some simple content. Oops, not a subscriber. And so basically what we want is for this pop-up to show to anybody that isn't a subscriber or that we know hasn't previously opted into this form. So what we want to do is for all the pop-up templates now, there is this close button section and we just want to make sure that that is open. And then we want to enable this di disable closing option. So let's go ahead and we're going to turn that on and you're going to see that that's going to hide the close icon and it's also going to prevent uh, being able to use either the escape key or clicking on the overlay to close that pop-up. So that is step one. Now what we want to do is we want to make sure that the visibility conditions or the display conditions rather are configured to show where we want it to show. So currently I have it set to all posts but let's say that you have both premium and non-premium content that you may want to protect. Uh, so you would go then into tags and maybe you'd select the premium tag if you were using that in order to ensure that your content, premium content was gated. But I'm just gonna leave it for all posts for the sake of example. Add any posts that you may want to exclude from those rules. Uh, and then down here, we want to hide if previously converted. We want to enable this option. So that means when someone, when a user actually goes ahead and fills out that form, it's going to save it in the cookie. Uh, and then they're going to be able to view uh, as many articles as they want after they've converted. Uh, there are some other pop-ups here. We're going to use, sorry, rather some other display conditions here. We're going to use those in the more advanced configurations of this pop-up. Uh, so we want to close that, then we want to open our triggers, and then we want to uh, select when we want this pop to show, uh, when they actually visit the page, and we're just going to select on page load after zero seconds. So as soon as someone opens up that premium content and they haven't previously converted on this pop-up based on our knowledge in the cookie, then we are going to show this pop-up and it is going to not be closable until they fill out that form. And the nice thing is you may be thinking that this might conflict with your search engine optimization or might negatively impact SEO. The nice thing is that this pop-up only shows to people who are actually browsing the site. So it's not gonna negatively impact uh, the experience of a search engine indexing your page. So none of that is going to be negatively affected. This only is going to impact an actual user going through your website. So when you're ready and you're happy with those settings, you just hit that publish button. And now this pop-up will show up on your premium posts. It won't be able to be closed unless they go ahead and they fill out this form, at which point it will close automatically. They'll be subscribed. You can integrate it with the CRM of your choice or send an email or however you want to do it. So the next pop-up that we are going to be looking at is the gated content pop-up for logged in or logged out users. This is a really simple example that you would want to use if you require people to be logged in for specific content uh, and then using something like the user role or whatever to make sure that you are showing the gated content pop up to the correct visitors. 
So let's go ahead and we're gonna open up that template. For this one, I am using the yes or no buttons. This is available with the uh, Hollerbox Premium subscription. Uh, all of these yes or no pop-up templates here with the images and whatnot, those are all available as part of Hollerbox Pro. And we have the content set up to log in to see this content. This content is for logged in users only. Log in now, and uh, if you're not a user, create an account. Now for our yes and no buttons, we have the login button set to redirect to where someone would log in to your site. We have the no button directed to where someone would create an account. Uh, and then both of those buttons basically just take the user to wherever they need to go in order to facilitate that. Uh, we are going to, again, we find this close button section. We are going to disable closing thereby removing the ability to close the pop-up. So once someone gets to some gated content, we are going to show this pop-up. They can click login now to go to the login page, not a user, go to the create account page. In our display conditions, we are going to select again where we want this pop-up to show. If you have uh, a specific category, a specific tag to categorize premium posts, use that. I just have it set to all posts at the moment. And then we want to enable the show for X visitors. We want to turn that on, this display condition. And then we have a couple options here. We have all, we have logged in only, and we have logged out only. We want to make sure that it's set to logged out only, thereby eliminating that logged in users would see this. I think that's it. That's all we have to do here because once someone actually logs in, they will no longer see this pop up. And it just works as easy as that. Uh, in this example, we do not want to enable hide if previously converted because the yes button, if they click log in, but they're not actually logged in, that still counts as a conversion because the yes button counts as a conversion. So we want to make sure we leave that off and we only want to use the show for X visitors, X visitors display condition. So go ahead and close that and we can now publish. Oh yeah, we want to make sure that we have a trigger enabled. We're going to do on page load and you can set it to zero seconds, one seconds, two seconds, however many seconds you want. Maybe you want them to be able to read the first paragraph first and then and then cut them off. So make sure that they log in. So we'll set it to two seconds and then we can go ahead and publish that. And that is how to show up a content gate pop-up for logged in or logged out users. The next pop-up that we are going to look at is the pop-up using Groundhog visibility conditions, which is one of my personal favorites. So let's look at what this one or this kind of implementation might look like. So I have a premium content uh, notice here. This content is for premium subscribers only. Premium subscribers get unlimited premium articles, a personalized experience, and some other benefits. Cancel anytime. And then I have two buttons, again, using the yes, no pop-up template. Uh, get premium or no thanks. No thanks might take them to a homepage or where f free articles are. Uh, but the get premium would go to some sort of pricing page where they would then go through either WooCommerce, eDigital Downloads, or Groundhog Zone, really simple payments, uh, and then purchase some sort of subscription. So we have the yes button going to an account page, and then the no button going to maybe the homepage, just as an example. So for our display conditions, again, we wanna make sure that we are only showing this pop-up where the premium content is that we want to protect. And then we want to enable one of these two display conditions. We have show for specific contacts or hide for specific contacts. I believe what we want to do is hide this pop-up for specific contacts. So we want it to show to people who are not, in our mind, a subscriber or a member or whatever tag, for example, that you have in Groundhog that you wanna use, or maybe you have a custom field. But essentially you wanna enable this filter here, the hide for X context, enable filters, or edit filters rather. We wanna select the Groundhog conditions that we don't want to see this pop-up. So let's say this pop-up should not be shown to people who have the subscriber tag. Let's go ahead and select a tag, what other tags? Paywall, we have a paywall tag, we're gonna use that. So we have a paywall tag, so anyone who has the paywall tag is gonna be able to go past the paywall. Uh, we could also select a bunch of other 
conditions, maybe a custom field. Do we have any custom fields here? Uh, looks like I don't have any custom fields on the site, but maybe if it's their birthday, they get a free article if their birthday is today. Uh, if their birthday is in the last, I don't know, if their birthday is today, then, then they can see the article. There's some fun stuff that you can do here, um, but then that is all we have to do here. So once uh, a subscriber actually gets either that paywall tag, then they will not get this pop-up. So that's the important part. Uh, if we were to use these filters um, adversely or conversely rather, then uh, people who had the paywall tag would see this pop-up and that's not what we want. So let's go ahead and disable that. I believe that's all we want to do there. That is, that is the only display condition that we want in this situation. We are then going to go to our triggers and we are going to enable on page load. And then we are going to go and publish this. So once someone goes through the checkout process and they get that tag in Groundhog, then they will no longer get this pop-up and they are free to browse your website unhindered. The last pop-up that I'm going to show you an example of is the number of free articles gated content pop-up. So this is something that like the New York Times has or Business Insider or Forbes, they all have some sort of implementation of this kind of pop-up uh, where basically you can browse a number of premium articles for free without being logged in or without being a subscriber. And then after maybe three or four or five of those of you browsing those articles, eventually you'll run into a pop-up that looks kind of like this. You've used your allotment of five free articles to unlock unlimited articles, log in or subscribe now. And then we have a button to log in or create an account. The yes button goes to your login page. The no button goes to create the account page. And then in our display conditions, we want to make sure that we're showing to only the posts that we want to show to. Uh, so again, using either all posts or a tag or a category of particular posts. Uh, and then we want to enable the show after X page views display condition. And we want to set that to five. So after they go to a page and they see however many number of articles that this pop-up would have shown on, then it's going to uh, display. And then we want to say show for X visitor. No, that's not what we want to do. We want to, actually that is what we want. We want to do show for X visitors and we want to select logged out only because again, we're saying that if someone is logged in, then they can browse freely. So we only, only want to show this to logged out visitors only. Um, if you have Hollerbox Premium installed, uh, then you can go down here and say show to X user roles instead and you can select guest or specific user roles that you might have as a result of having member press or something like that or there's also the member press uh, and paid memberships pro display conditions as well if you have either of those plugins but if you're using user roles specifically then you can select user roles as well so we're going to leave it like that. I'm going to, I'm going to deselect that one and say show for logged out users only and only show after they viewed five of these premium articles. And then we can go ahead and close that. Make sure that we have our on page load trigger and then publish. And those are four examples of gated content pop-ups using Hollerbox integrated with Groundhog, lots of cool ways to implement it. Very, very, very easy to implement and easy to get great results with. Speaking of results, if you get great results, go ahead and leave those in the comments below. Or if you have any questions, go ahead, leave those in the comments below. And we'd love to make sure that you are successful with creating your gated content pop-ups. Have a great day.